Hello, welcome again to Tips and Tricks Tuesday with Lynn Allen. Uh, I'm not going to mention the beautiful sunny day that we're having here right now in Northern California because every time I do, I get emails from our good friends down in Australia and New Zealand uh, reminding me that it's winter there and it's actually quite chilly there. So I won't mention the beautiful summer day we're having. So today I'm going to share with you a couple of system variables that I think are really important for you to know and I think are going to make your everyday drawing life a little bit better, which is what it's all about. Now, there are so many system variables in AutoCAD, right? No way to keep track of them all, no way to remember them all, but I think you're gonna find these two are really, really valuable. The first one we're gonna take a look at has to do with the P edit command. Now, if you draw a lot of polylines or lines and arcs, if you work with polylines, you probably use the P edit command quite a bit. If you do, you've all run into this situation. Here I have, this is a plain old arc, and we have a line, another arc, and I actually want to convert that into a polyline. I want to close it all up and make a nice boundary so that I can hatch it, because let's face it, I can't, big hole right there, right? So I go into the p-edit command, right? p-edit, says select a polyline, and I come up here and I select this, which I happen to know is just an arc. It comes back and says, the object selected is not a polyline. Do you want to turn it into one? Well, yes, of course I do, which is why I went into the P edit command to begin with. Why are you asking me this question? It's just an irritating question, right? I find it irritating. It means I have to do one more enter in my world of living in the world of, poly, in, of uh, AutoCAD, and I don't like that. So let's, let's, let's see if we can do something about that. There's this great system variable called P edit accept. You can see it right there. I have dynamic input on. Now you can see it at the command line. If you set that value to one, you will find that the next time that you go into the p-edit command and you select an object that is not a polyline, look, doesn't even ask me, sends me straight to the next group of options, it assumes I want to turn it into a polyline and I don't have to answer that stupid question, right? It's redundant, that's why I don't like the question. So, p-edit accept, everybody should have that set to one, don't forget that. So that's one of the system variables I want to share with you. Let me share with you one more today, maybe we'll share some more next time. So I actually have quite a few AutoCAD joins open, but there's no real easy way for me to go directly from one to the next. I can use the control tab to move around. Oh, that works pretty well. Um, but what I really would like is just to be able to hit something and go to it very, very quickly. This is especially useful for those of you who have many open joins at one time. There is another very powerful system variable called taskbar, and I want to set taskbar to one. Now watch what happens. If I had room down here, I have six joins open, you'd actually see that they were all evenly spaced down here and I could, I could just grab them directly. But this is just as easy for me. One click, I see all the names of all the joins and I can very quickly go to the one that I was interested in. Very, very valuable. I always work with taskbar set to one. So there we have two really powerful system variables that are gonna help make your everyday drawing life a little bit better. Give them both a try, p edit, p edit accept, and taskbar. Set both of those guys to one and you're going to be a lot happier in the world of AutoCAD. And hey, that's what it's all about. I'll see you in another couple of weeks.